So the fundamental change in this new series of doors has to do with some dimensional inaccuracies that <clears throat> one of our project teams uncovered uh, when doing their uh, shop drawing review for doors. Uh, the original library was set up such that when a door had the throat by wall size button checked, uh, it was reporting this parameter that was the throat depth of the wall. And of course, the doors and their frames were engineered such that that number represented uh, the size of the wall that the door was in. Uh, it did not include the returns on the frame depth. What we didn't realize when these were originally built is it created a problem when the doors were used in a configuration <clears throat> where we were not using the throat by wall size. In this case, what the door was now reporting is it had a throat depth manual set to five inches, which we had always anticipated being the size of the frame itself that we wanted to show in the door schedule. Now, of course, it is showing the five inches in the door schedule, but what, what I had overlooked is that the five inch dimension that it's showing is still the size of the frame not including the returns on the outside of the frame uh, that otherwise would be wrapping around a wall. When in reality, what that number needed to be was the total depth of the frame out to out. So, the doors are very similar to the 2014 version. Um, what we've now done is we've reconfigured those parameters such that uh, of course the name is different and what it is now reporting in the schedule is the overall depth of the frame whether the frame is by the throat depth or not so in this case we have the same frame but instead of reporting the four and seven eighths it's now reporting the five and three quarter inch we also find that when doing shop drawing review that the five and three quarter inch is the actual number that we see on the submittal so this actually makes a little more sense for us now it also means that the number is then correct if we go to put the door in this condition again and tell it not to use the frame by throat depth. And so of course we also rename those parameters so that they make a little more sense. In this case, the frame is now set in the manual parameter to four and three quarters of an inch and that is what it's reporting in the schedule. Of, of course now that dimension is the entire frame from the outside to the outside at four and three quarters of an inch. In order to make this possible, uh, the doors did have to uh, acquire a few new parameters that were not there before. Uh, and that surrounds the need for the doors to report either the throat depth of the wall plus the wall offset parameters or for the offset parameters to force themselves to zero so that the user can type in the overall depth of the frame. And that was achieved by simply adding a few additional parameters into the doors that were not there in the old version. So the throat offset, exterior, and interior parameters uh, were both there in the 2014 version. Now there is simply a throat offset actual exterior and actual interior, and these are the ones actually constrained. And then really simply, uh, they are telling uh, the formulas are telling the parameters that if we have manually specified the frame depth that we are going to force those parameter values to zero. So essentially what happens is uh, the if we disconnect and push this off the, the wall so we can see it, uh, once the yes or no parameter is uh, unchecked to break the door free the frame offset values default to zero inches and now the uh, the parameter that the user is manually specifying is controlling the overall out to out dimension of the frame. So while we were doing this it meant uh, reconfiguring a bunch of parameters and so I figured now was uh, also an opportune time to uh, change this after some suggestions on RFO mentioned a technique that would allow us to put a negative value in the push side offset of the door. So we have simply implemented uh, an additional six inch uh, tolerance on the push side of the door so that uh, should somebody want to, as long as they don't do it more than six inches, they can now specify a negative value for the push side inset uh, and the door will 
come forward on the push side of the door. Um, of course, if anybody wants it to be more capable, they can swap the six inches for a variable. Um, I've just not found enough need for that to happen. Uh, so that is uh, the gist of the technical changes in the doors, uh, except for there just being more of them. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.